Yeah, my towel is upstairs in my dresser. Uh, don't have it with me, but um, want to do another video of the construction that is going on next to the apartment complex. Uh, haven't seen progress in that in a little over a week, and I just wanted to keep updated on the project. A um, couple things to say about the idea of boundaries. Um, I'm not the first to use this metaphor, um, but you can think of personal boundaries as being like the edges of a room and the lights are off and a person is feeling their, their way around in the dark, trying to feel where the boundaries of the room are. And yeah, that, that's a good idea for, yeah, the, the metaphor when I first heard it was talking about disciplining of children. Because, you know, you know, if you give a rule to a child, they're going to push up against it. If you set boundaries, they're going to try and break it. Uh, and that's not through maliciousness uh, or vindictiveness. Um, you know, it's just they're, you know, much like trying to figure out the shape of the room that you're in when the lights are off. They're trying to figure out the shape of the world. You know, they want to know where the walls are in order to, you know, have you know, a sense of security. Um, security is not quite the right word, but, you know, for lack of a better term, let's just say security. And that's why children that were raised without any boundaries are just so screwed up when they become adults, is because the world doesn't have a shape. And I wanted to tie that into the construction going on behind me. I know that there is some sort of boundaries going on with that. It's got a maximum height size. Um, you know, rooms are so many dimensions. But, you know, not knowing where the boundaries are, I really don't have a desire to find out where the boundaries are because I know that they're going to be there eventually.